Okay, YouTube, the time has come for me to fix my boneheaded mistake. You saw the radiator replacement videos. There's two of them, part one, part two. You know that I broke the oil pan when I jacked it up. I think I can get away with it by putting a jack on the corner. And it. Okay, guys, we're under this Chevy Sonic. And what it looks like here is, I've looked at this before, is we got these bolts here that got to come out of manifold. I've been soaking them with WD-40. It looks like the exhaust will swing out of my way so I can work. Uh, I got the O2 sensor up there. Shouldn't be a problem. I might unplug that just to make sure it doesn't drop far. It don't look like it drop far enough to pull that wire out. Yeah, we got it looks like about 12 bolts up around this pan here. Two, four, six there. We got one way up in there. And six on this side. And we have looks like about a 15 millimeter bolt there and there are two more way up in them holes there and I think that's all of them so we'll take her down we'll clean the flange up there with uh, acetone I have a brand new pan but we're gonna wipe the flange on that too with acetone um, as far as the gasket all I could find is that everybody uses RTV sealer, so I got the Black Magic from Permatex. And I'm gonna, I'll bring it back when I'm going to it, because it's gonna be, I'll try to film as much as I can, but. I can't film and work at the same time, so probably won't get a lot. <laughs> See the camera over here. There. And I'll try to wear the GoPro as much as possible so you can follow along with that. I don't know how much you'll see of it. I never get this GoPro right. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Uh 14. Looks like. Nope, 12. Yeah, that's about right. They might even get down to a 12 after to turn them a little bit. He's exhaust. There we go. We're not turning on the other side. Thank you. 
GoPro on my hat. That's the. I have the uh, sun visors to the back of my head, and it makes it very hard to work because you're holding your head up in the air. So we may have to just take this off and. Get back there. Alright. Okay. What we're trying to do right now is we gotta get this off the mount. So, not sure if you're in the view there or not. Off the uh, hangers here, these rubber bushings. That'll allow me to swing this a little bit. That's enough. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to see a whole lot with the camera. So I'm going to leave it run. And if we can't film a lot, of, you kind of got the gist here. find this place to pry this down I think right here's a good spot here uh, I might have an issue there too Let's bend that up out of the way all right let's, let's see we can pop it off of here the good thing is I don't have to worry about breaking the pan it's already broke Ah, oh, there it goes, coming right down. Alright. Cool. Yeah. Oh, so I did forget about is the oil dipstick is here. Um attach the block but might be a problem getting back in with let's see if I can find the bolt holding that there should be one here somewhere yeah, I think it's on the top yeah so it should come apart from the pan but I want to take it out 
before I put the pan bag in because I don't want to fight with that. It's easier just to do it separate. It's not that big a deal. Okay, that's a good spot to pry if you can get into it. So the only thing that's holding it right now is the dipstick. All right, well, you got the dipstick attached right here with this strap here. So I'm gonna have to take that screw out, which is the same as the oil pan. So that's easy enough. Okay, that is not actually the same size as the pan. It is a little bit bigger. And unfortunately, this is the largest Torx bolt screw I have, uh, socket I have. So, I'm going to try doing it with a regular socket. Otherwise, I'm going to have to run out. And, otherwise, I'm going to have to run out and get me a, whatever it is, another set of sockets. Okay. I was able to get that out of there with a 10 millimeter six point socket. So, we got lucky there. So now we just gotta get the dipstick off of the pan from down below somehow. What I'm gonna have to here and put one of these bolts back in just to hold the pan so we can relax. Yeah, it's in my bolt came down yet. It's still in there. Yeah, it's still in there. Alright. Now what I'm gonna do here, we don't want to take this cover out. It gets all the way up in, in there. Alright, so we're still fighting with this dipstick here. We're trying to figure out. I put the bolt back in to hold it here. I don't want to damage this flex pipe here but I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get that off of there I can't twist it won't twist for me it'll break loose and I can't get enough grip on it to pull it up so I'm gonna go try to get a, something from up top and see if I can twist it okay we got the dipstick to where it turns and all you're not gonna be able to see it but it turns, but you just don't want to release it. So I don't know. I'm gonna put another bolt in up in there just to hold it up tight and see what we can do from there. That's the one thing that's giving me a hard time with this thing. After a lot of fighting, twisting, it finally came out. So we're gonna put her up there for now and get this oil pan out of here. Now we gotta get those screws back out. This needs to come out of my way yet. You may have to take it apart back there. I hate to do that, but you're going to have to. You're going to have to take those two bolts out. Right there. All right. Got the pan down. Try to look up in the cylinders and see what they look like the best you can. It's hard to see. You can't really see on this one that well. Well, I see it's pretty clean now. I can't, can't really show you. But, we got the old pan down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean around the edge here. I'm going to scrape off any of this uh, sealer that's left on here. Okay. 
all around here, get that all off. Then I'm gonna wipe it down with some acetone. All right, got me a razor blade scraper here. I'm gonna go up in there and start scraping away. I'm gonna try to leave the oil pan, old oil pan underneath as much as possible, catch all the junk. Any oil that might drip. So, see if I can get you up in there. Okay. Also, try to uh, get anything that might be laying on the edge of here so that it doesn't get into your oil ports. All right. And I'm going to go get some acetone. Okay, I got me some acetone here. some on this rag here wipe down all up in there get all the oil off nice and smooth clean and I'm also going to wipe down the new uh, oil pan make sure you wear gloves with this stuff or any of these type of chemicals that you use thing is with this make sure you don't get any rag it probably should be use a cotton rag or something that don't have these little flakes in it all right all right find my RTV here okay get your RTV and I'm going to cut the tube off right at the very top here because I don't want too much of a bead to come out. Let's say bead on this here should be just about 
a little over eighth inch on this one. trying to squeeze that out. guys there she goes gotta go back up in there <laughs> now I can't see anything goes out in bright sunlight slow and easy because you want to seat in the place and stay there. Like that. Come on. Do that. Let's get another one on the other side. And then we can get them all started. You want to get it up in a place and not move it any more than you have to. Come on. Okay, guys. I had to go get another battery. Uh, so, what we're going to do, we're going to tighten up these bolts. Make sure I got them all in yet. Okay, they're all there. All right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find the flashlight first. Oh, we'll go. Man, wait, this don't want to cooperate. We're gonna go from the middle, which either one of them is gonna be middle. We're gonna just kind of crisscross back and forth and I'm not going to go crazy with them I'm not going to torque them the uh, correct torque today is called uh, it calls for uh, 10 Newton meters in foot pounds that's about seven and a half a little more than seven and a half um, I don't have a uh, quarter inch drive adapter for my torque wrench so I'm just going to go to where I think they should be because 
I do have a fairly decent feel for where what it should be. So, uh, and it. Okay, let's try this again. I changed my battery and put the dead battery back in. But what I am going to do is I'm going to tighten these up from here and crisscross back and forth. We'll go here and here on the other side, caddy corner, then here, caddy corner, then here. Now some guys will do what they call small circle, big circle, that works too. But I'm just going to go back and forth, crisscross, until I got them all just about right. Uh, see the lights flickering, it's about ready to die. Um, and that's what all you would need to do is get them just to where you need them. Um, the uh, correct torque is 10 newton meters, which is just about, set, it's a little over 7.5, it's 7.62, I think, uh, foot pounds, which isn't very tight. I'm just going to play it by ear, so to speak, because uh, I don't have a quarter inch adapter for my torque wrench. I don't know what happened to my quarter inch adapter. So I, I have a fairly decent idea where they need to be. So that's what I'm going to do. So, and I'm pretty confident that I'm not going to over tighten them or under tighten them. Get these on here loosely so that I can uh, get the back one started. And let's get the back started.
filter or the oil dipstick back down in that spot there. I'm going to put a little grease on the O-ring and just try to fit her in there. Let's see what happens. Alright, we got her. Alright. Gonna try getting you down in there. Filter cap right there. So let's see if we can get in there and take it off. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Oh, that filter looks pretty nasty. I think there's a torque specification right on there. Yep, 25 Nm, but I'm just going to snug it out. That looks like it's about right. All right, now we can put the oil back in it. The oil uh, called for, I forget, four point some quarts. Okay, there you have it. 